another day, another shirt. And uh, now it's time to hop back on the tiger shark because when you got a little 16 month old at home, life tends to get a little busy. So now we're making progress. I mean, look at that thing. Now I'm actually going to do a little bit of touch up. There's some spots obviously where when you're making a layer cake that is this shark, take a look. You can see the layers of foam here on two inch increments. When you end up with that, you end up uh, having to kind of piecemeal things together when you end up with an edge like this. So because of that, you gotta do a little bit of filling. So I'm kind of experimenting with filling. There's also gaps like here in the tail section where there's actually a true gap there. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some Gorilla Glue and I'm gonna take some slivers of foam and basically just pin them in place with a piece of coat hanger or something that I have around. So you just put it in place stick the coat hanger through with the glue already applied to the whole thing and it'll just expand out and kind of fill that gap and hold it in place. Then I'll come back with my lovely rasp and uh, rock and roll on it. Making good progress. Now it'll be on, then it'll be on to taking these fins down to size and then I'll pull the fins out and hard coat them. So once they're hard coated, then we can work on hard coating the main body once that's final roughed out and we'll be in good shape. So on the agenda for today on Tiger Shark Build is to finalize the tail fin and then also figure out the eyeball situation. All right, right now, working on finishing up the uh, tail fin. So I just placed this up on the Tiger Shark itself and I've gone through my reference photos and kind of got a structure for what the tail fin musculature or cartilage or whatever that is should look like inside to give it that rigidity in real life. The body of the shark attaches right in here. There's also kind of a, a bulged section that parallels that as well. So there's a little bit of a ridge rising here and here. Then this is all just very thin material so it's just kind of like a, a like a rudder. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep just hammering away at this because right now it's pretty thick. So I'm gonna get it down to a realistic dimension.
It finally showed up. Hard coat. Yes. Hello, beautiful. Let's do this. I got all but the tail fin hard coated, so at this point, taking my crappy brush and just going to town and uh, hard coating the body in just some of the areas. I'm just gonna hit the spots that need to be filled a lot and then I'll sand them down and hit them with a lighter coat in the next, next pass. So I'm finding that just taking the brush and going nice and slow kind of pulls this thick milkshake-like hard coat where I need it and it just kind of fills all the gaps as I go. Look at that subliminal messaging behind me, that subliminal messaging of Grizzly. I work for those guys. I actually make their videos. Hey, I'm gonna kinda give my little two cents on foam coat stuff here so far. And honestly, it goes on very nice and smooth. It's just super thick. It's like an incredibly thick milkshake. That said, it fills the gaps. I just don't know, I always diluted it before. So I don't know how much of a pain in the butt this is gonna to be to actually whittle down. But that said, I can fill in some pretty big cracks here. And obviously the styrofoam itself, I've prepped it pretty well, like blown it out and stuff, but there's still a lot of chunks and whatever else, but it seems to cover it pretty well. Just take your time and go nice and easy. It dries in two to four hours apparently. And then I'll dilute it as I get closer to a final, I'll sand it and then I'll get close to a final thing where I'll fill in some final gaps and then I'll actually try and dilute it enough to either roll it or spray it, possibly. I don't know if I want to try that, but. Right now behind me is a basically hard coated tiger shark. So I have a little bit left to go, like obviously the tail there um, that I still have to do. The fins are pretty much done. Now it's just time to sand, finish the hard coat. I probably need to buy some more, but overall it's looking good. Um, it's gonna take a lot of sanding and take a look at this texture. So it's gonna take some work. All right, so in thinking about fins and how much rigidity I need in this thing, I kind of came up with an idea that my standard little fin tab here um, might not cut it. What I think I'm gonna do is actually add some little screws, well not little, three and a half to four inch screws that will go into the fin tabs and I'll put two of them in, Gorilla glue them in place, drill some holes into the main body and then that'll actually allow it to sit in there a little more rigid and then I'll Gorilla glue and foam uh, with some spray foam that expands and once it's all tied together, that with the hard coat that I apply to both the body and the fin should do the trick. Now, as you can see, I have foam inserted into a lot of the uh, fin gaps. All the fins are mounted, and I even have kind of packed out where the line of the body actually carries up onto the tail fin. Now it's time to hammer away at that uh, foam, that expandable foam that I put in there, and Gorilla Glue uh, with the rasp, and then I'll hit it also with some sandpaper and the orbital sander. So the eyes are not fixed yet. They're just kind of hanging out for reference. And then I'll uh, sand down this, this texture and get it all nice and smooth. Do a top coat that I'll water down and hopefully spray. I might just roll it on, but. So 
So upon closer inspection, I discovered that Bondo is not the right choice because it in fact eats styrofoam. Uh, people have been watching this going, don't do that for the last couple seconds of me applying this are correct. And I did not know that. It slowly eats away the styrofoam as it dries around it. So I'm hoping that the damage caused will be minimal here. I'll find a new filler joint compound to go over this and uh, not do that again. So now I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to actually start sanding on some of the other components and then I'm going to come back, sand that down as well. And then we'll be ready for some more foam coat. So at this point, what I've been actually doing is taking a new batch of foam coat that I got using a four and six inch sheetrock scraper trowel thing. And I basically like you would on a, a birthday cake or wedding cake. I actually been applying this like frosting. So, you end up with very subtle ridges, but as a second coat, I've knocked down the first coat with the sander and then come back and just add the second layer and it's, it's turned out really close. All right, so today's task is to let Sharky come off of those upper supports and straps and actually give it some little uh, support pieces that I can mount to the workbench right here. So I'm gonna use these little foam pieces to line it so it's nice and soft. And then I'm gonna get on to finishing the hard coat here while it's in a little cradle that's attached to that workbench. All right, it's been a long day, but it's time to throw some hard coat on this bad boy. And I'm going with the old Kraus and Becker from Harbor Freight. That's right, it's a latex paint sprayer, $20 from Harbor Freight. And honestly, I sprayed it on the other side just by watering down my Roscoe's foam coat. I then put it in here, sprayed down the other side and it looks good. So I'm gonna continue to rock and roll. You just gotta take all the components out, put them in water and just let them sit there. And it seems to work just fine. So yeah, check it out. Oh, and the thing is like ridiculously loud. So just that's why I buy one. It's like 9.30, but I live out in the county, so it's it's okay. As you can see, it lays a nice coat of hard coat down. Uh, it makes an absolute mess. Um, I got some on the camera. It was it shoots everywhere. But what it did here is it left a pretty smooth coat, a little bit of texture to it that I'll hit really quick with the sander. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty much there. Now I'm just gonna sand it, flip it, do another coat on the belly, and call it a day.